It is night time, and welcome back to Wind Waker. That made absolute ultra sense. Yeah, let's make it daytime, actually, though. I don't know why I didn't do this off screen, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. I probably should have kept it night, shouldn't I? Brain hole's too confused. Hi! You were not there before. So, I'm feeling pretty good. T Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black spot pig, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I've let him ashore to graze over yonder. The thing is, I can't stop worrying about my little guys. I just carried a pet pig to him. Let's attack the pig, shall we? That's totally not gonna get us. Get. That makes it so easy to bring the pigs to him, actually. That would make it so they, because they can't do anything in water. Ugh. Ugh, are you farting in my. Through, are you farting through your nose? Look, he's just farting through his nose. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's farting through his nose, see? <laughs> If you ever have money issues, I give good financial advice. G okay. I'm trying to find your hello. Hi. What did, was there a point to making this? I think I made a big mistake here. We're going to make it night again because I almost did the wrong thing. I almost did down, right, left. Or down, right, left. Yeah. Same difference. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so one thing I do want to equip is right, we got three different kinds of arrows. I think you have to switch. I think no, I know you have to switch to the fire one. I think you have to. I'm not sure though. Eh. My brain be busted since 1922. <laughs> if if my brain is that old, um, I'm Frankenstein. Except the monster, not the actual doctor. This is not where I need to be. To avoid pain... We can make it! We made it. Yes! Hi! Who are you? Fine night, isn't it? Well, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have stand it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Fair enough. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you're having it, while you have the chance. You can jump into the gondo seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Okay. If I can, the gondo seats push me. That is what I call the opposite of fun. You call. Um, oh, there we go. Can I please? Can I please? Okay, can I? I see what I gotta do. That's interesting. Yep. Oh, come on, man. Really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah ha ha ha. 
That hurt. My feetsies ain't work. My brain ain't work neither. Only nothing work. Nothing work up here. It's all just like bush. All right, you got me. My brain is literally jello. That's what it's been for years now. I can't help it, okay? I like the taste of jello, so I'll just like start eating up my brain. And I'll have to make new brain. Something already seems off about that thought process. Yes! There we go. Hey! Wow. That's... Wait. I thought... Huh? Hold on, I... I thought that chest was supposed to... Huh? Okay. I'm actually gonna go over there later, but I wanted to make sure... Because that's what the chest is. Um... You know... It could, potentially. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Uh, everything's fine. Everything's normal. <laughs> um, I, I I need another piece of brain. <laughs> People call me the zombie kid for a reason, you know. <laughs> what? All right, Mister. I I turned the thing on. Do you like the fact that I turned the thing on? Hi. Fine night, isn't it? Do you see that little man? The light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam of light that streaks out now, shining through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave beam fighting the gloom has made me so happy I just feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. Thanks. That's piece of heart number 38. Now windfall is going to be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything. <laughs> I like how, uh, how po I actually do like how positive he is about that. That's awesome. Stay positive, my friends. All right, our goal is that over there. Do we have any, I think, no, yeah, we have enough magic. I was going to say, do we have enough? Yes, we do. There's a trust. A trust. Brain food. Chest. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got a piece of heart. You've collected three so far. Yeah, I know. There's one more on Windfall Island we can get. Yep. And now that I'm thinking about it, I should have kept it a day and did this later on. Good. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. So we're making it daytime, and we're actually going to go talk to Maggie. After that, I think all that'll be left to do is progression. Yeah, after that, we'll be progressing. It's gonna be kind of cool to do. Hi, man. Being poor must be pretty rough. You take one look at me, and that's the first thing you think, isn't it? And for what you did? That was a noble thing to do for a rich man. I ask you, why is that? Sure, the days can get kind of tough, but good things still happen, don't they? Money doesn't make the sun shine, you know. This guy has the right idea about money. Just recently, my missing daughter, Mila, was returned to me. I didn't think it could ever feel more joyful. 
Then she went and started working at the shop to help out with our tight family finances. What a trooper. You must be really proud of your daughter. <laughs> Could that girl be any more of an aunt? Aww. Although, I do worry about how she always seems to sneak out of... Is there any shop in this town that's open at night? Hmm. Well, I mean, technically that bar or the drinking area is. Hmm. The look in your eyes seems to imply that you have something to say. Well, what is it? Are you suggesting that I should go to work, too? Ow! Nope. But, oh, my back. It's truly been hurting at me of late. Really just aching! If I, went, if I were 20 years younger... You know, I, I, that I can understand, actually. That's probably why she works so hard for him, too. Hey, there she is. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi, we meet again. What? Of course. Honestly, I'm working. How dare you suggest... I, dude, I didn't suggest anything. Done with all that sneaking around in the dark. In fact, I head off to a faraway island to work in the evenings now. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright. Well, alright. Now you're keeping me from doing my job. So can you please step aside? This way to the only stall with extra fun. Happy things for sale. Step right up. Please stop by. You probably get paid really well, too, after everything I got for this guy. You're welcome, you dork. I'm the only reason any of that is happening. My brain tells me so, at least. Or my jello tells me. <laughs> my jello is telling me. Oh god. My jello is telling me that there are uh, mosquitoes on my left, my right, my rear. Back. Mosqui back mosquitoes. Back. Bad mosquitoes. <laughs> anyway, focus on what we were actually going to do. <laughs> Alright, Maggie. Maggie probably still has a good heart, at least. It seems like the only one who's not that... Like, the two who are not that way... Or at least now it's probably just one, but... The dad here, and then the girl who we told to stop thievery. Hi. Oh. To think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm. But no. No. It's a nightmare. Without him by my side. It's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from the Cursed Island. His ring is nameless, I swear. Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo. Why, Mo? Always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Ah, uh, this is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take the letter I've just finished, inking and deliver it to the post box? Wow. Inking. There's a hint of nostalgia for you. Please? I beg of you. Sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. Keep it in your delivery bag until you find a post box to drop it in. Post box. Don't you dare forget. I'm gonna do it now, Maggie. You don't have to worry about that. But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she so desires. Alright. My brain... My jello is telling me not... My, my brain, my jello... The jello I have up here is telling me not to do it, so I'm not gonna. As tempted as I am, I'm not gonna. Just because the jello says so. <laughs> Mother comes in the room. Hey, uh, why? I, it's new that you're doing your homework. The jello told me to do it. 
pun? We ran out of jello weeks ago. Oh. What was I talking to then? <laughs> oh, Lord. That sounds so weird. Alright, I won't read it. Because the jello told me not to. This postbox is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. Do you wish to send this now? Yep. Parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the island postal service. We appreciate your business. Oh, I get it. Okay, the farther you are from the island, that's well, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. I, whatever. I think. I've done this before. I forgot about it over to- whoops. Wow, I feel totally rejuvenated and it's all because of you. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I remember that side quest. That was actually a fun one to do. I think a lot of the side quest treasure charts end up having the hard pieces. I'm kinda glad the only ones I have left are the two treasure charts by- treasure charts? Jello Brain, will you help me say something that I actually need to say? Instead of putting silver balls into my mouth, please. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna actually go talk to Maggie. Why am Why am I in here? Why am I in here? Why am I in here? I'm gonna go talk to Maggie now. <laughs> I'm sure Maggie will be really happy to hear this. Hello? Wait a minute. Oh, well, that didn't work. Ow. My jello is telling me that hurt. <laughs> My jello here. Oh, I kind of want another piece. Uh, that piece tasted a little waxy. Hello? Honestly, just don't understand, do you? Open up your eyes, ears. Silence! I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Be gone! Be gone! Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Mo's letter. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Jeez. Can you please be reasonable? Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! What is wrong with this guy? Just acknowledge I was here. This guy's a broken record. Even my jello brain can say that. Ugh, foolish man. Now you've made me angry. I can't even look you in the face any longer. Punch him! Or I fear I might... I must go somewhere to cool my feathers. Is that the bar? Oh, what a wretched, unruly postman. I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo. Any forsaken fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter, Maggie? I don't care whose letters they are. I'll never reach her on my watch. Oh, really? The cello is telling me to go against his will. The Jello is just telling me to do everything this episode. I might as well just, at this point, I might as well just like go get a bowl of Jello. I'm just like, hey Jello, what should I do next? Crystal Jello ball. What's it just like get a ball of Jello? Crystal Jello ball. What should I be doing now? The Jello just says, go to the bar. Hi. Oh, it's you. Sorry you had to witness me fly off the handle like that at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just... Never mind. I'll tell you the truth, though. I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo. 
but as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to give it to her. What a stubborn meddling old man. Do you think to accept letters from the postman? Who's heard of such nonsense? I have, but the person ended up, uh, in a very bad place. Let's just leave it there. I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, and it was a most frightening ordeal. Let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I am a failure to the delivery train. But I have other deliveries waiting for, to be made. Cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postman. <laughs> I like where this guy is going. But surely he would allow you in the place, would he not? After what I just gave him last... Was it last episode or the episode before? The 20 gold... The, the, the 20 sculptural necklaces. Those those things. Let, could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my stead? What do you say? Sure. Honestly? You young men are a lifesaver. Truly never hurts to ask. It really doesn't. I shall leave this letter in your care. Not Malin's letter. This letter has sort of a stink to it. Take it to Maggie. I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands. And I thank you. Cool. Well, uh, okay then. Why do I feel like the postman is going to smell the stench? Not the postman, the, uh, the, 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 the old man. Why do I feel like he's going to smell the stench if I go there during the day? I'm going to try... If that doesn't work, then I'll go at night. Simple as that. Or is the old man going to be stupid enough not to realize? <laughs> well, he probably won't realize if I don't have it equipped. Yeah, see, just, nope, don't realize nothing. Hey, Maggie. Hey, I got a present for you. It's my Jello. Hey, you want some? You want some Jello? No, that wasn't in my head. That's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> Here you go, Maggie. Is is that could it be the letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it. This, let me read it this instant. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie. Aw, so much that I want to eat you for dinner. What kind of eating we talk about here? Did you hear that? Those words? This means, I mean, it must mean, can it be? <laughs> sure, Maggie. Must be. Last my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Trudy -de -de -do la la what? From here on out, today will be the This is what happens when I feed other people my jello. I eat it, it just goes right back to where it started. <laughs> when other people eat it and this happens. <laughs> here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of true love, I give you this. Got four left. Two are in the water. Two are somewhere. <laughs> Trudy Lou Who, treasure it always. I will. All right. So that means four more heart pieces. Two I can't get until right before we finish the game, actually. But two we can get after progression. However, I don't. Where are? It depends on where we are on time right now. Where are we time-wise? Okay, we can at least go get the progression, the last two items, which will probably allow us to get the two islanded. I, is that a word? Islanded? <laughs> Jello brain, you tell me. Okay, apparently islanded is not a word. <laughs> Listen to the Jello. The Jello is always right. What? Oh no. I 
think Fire Mountain is right next to the Temple of the Gods. Isn't it? No, it's that's right. It's next to Dragon Roost Island. Actually, both. Either works. Anyway, let's head over to let's head over to Fire Mountain. Go ahead and get the item there. We'll go over to the ice area next. After that, we'll get the item there. After that, I will end the video. Maybe. We'll see. I need to make a shorter episode to make up for the last two that I did. Because holy crap. Right, this might be necessary. This will definitely be necessary, and we gotta go south. I can hear Medley playing stuff. Oh, it's already going south. Oh! Oh, that's Fire Mountain right there, isn't it? It's hard to tell because you can't you know, see the fire. But, you know. Alright, let's get to it. Brain, what do you say? You ready? Oh, sorry, not Brain. Jello. Hey, Jello. Crystal Jello Ball. Should I go here? It says yes. That's why you can't see it, because it's Crystal Jello. <laughs> it's clear as all hell. Alright, so if I remember correctly, first of all, no brainer on this, ice arrows. Oh wait, duh. Yeah, now, I know the time is limited, so gotta hurry. Is there a volcano that actually does that? I might, I don't, I think there is, I don't know. We're timed, we gotta do this quickly. No. Look, I don't need your golden feathers anymore, okay? I already gave it to the person who needed them and I got a heartbeat from it. This was like in episode, what, six? Quite frankly, I don't even remember. Oh, oh crap. Okay, I messed that up. Oh, gosh. Please don't. Please, leave me alone. I don't want to deal with your crap. This side. Yeah, there we go, there we go. This side. Why I thought it was the other side? I... Of course you're going to make me siddle. Don't peck me, bro. Here, maybe I can feed. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll feed you some of my Jello brain if you leave me alone. Would you like some Jello? Would you like the Jello? Leave me alone, and I'll give you some Jello. Sound good? Good, Bertie. You're getting some Jello. <laughs> you're getting some of my Jello brain. You'll probably die afterwards, but you'll get it anyway. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna ignore the fire keys. You know, it's a weird thing to think about. Hi. Boink. Dead. Alright, fine. Ow. You want that hurt. Die. Dead. There we go. Now, I know there's another island later on that we can actually get to as well. But Oh, magic, thank you. I, okay, then. Good grief. Give. <laughs> Power bracelets. Oh, right, these are automatic. Oh, my God. Jeez, that is strong for a kid like that. Holy crap. All right then, 
All right, good birdie. Now you can have some Jello brain. Come here, come here, so I can give you a Jello brain. Good birdie. Here, here, I got Jello brain on a stick for you. Oh my gosh. There you go, Jello brain. See, insta kill. Shh. The birdie don't need to know that. Ow! Well, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> I mean, the bird didn't attack me, so... <laughs> Alright, man, we got... I think we got... We got... What would go here? We got two items left. One of them is going to be the boots, which will probably go here. But what's going to go here? Now I'm really wondering. Okay. Wait, actually, I need to figure out where is the ice one? Well, that was fast to figure out. Forest David. There we go. No! I know what I'm doing. Actually, Southern Fairy might be faster. Might be. <laughs> my 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 Jello was telling me to join with that song. That's the most I could do, though. <laughs> okay. So I want to go... East. very familiar because the ice doesn't show up until after the layout of this thing actually looks really oddly familiar I'm most likely gonna fail on this one a couple of times though which is fine we got a few minutes left before I'm gonna stop all right so while we're heading there Yeah, here we go. All right, and of course there's a shooter thing, Majonger. Shooter. It went right through its mouth. I'm like, yes. Actually, that probably gives me enough time to grab this as well. mechanics I hope this is shorter than the ice cavern was in Ocarina of Time Ocarina of Time didn't have that bad of an ice cavern I actually liked the ice cavern a lot Whee! I love the slide oh oh my oh 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 please at least that keeps me from uh, uh, uh. Uh. My jello brain is lacking the beat, man. <laughs> Come 
come on. I like the tick. To, like, is there a clock going or something? Huh. Huh. And we're good to go. We'll definitely make it through the area in three minutes. And these aren't that long of areas, so. Sorry. Jeez. Oh boy. Let's go this way. Whee! Um, wait, those aren't even ice keys. Those are just keys keys. No. Oh my. Yo, let's not fall, please. It's very much recommended to not fall. You know? This is making me think of the slider music from Mario 64. Isn't that weird? Whoa, whoa. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. That did not need a four minute timer. Well, if you don't know what to do, it wouldn't have. It would have. It, it would have been needed. Iron boots. Yeah, there's literally one item we need left. Where the heck is that item? Okay, and now I can put on the iron boots. B five fo fum. What happens if I fall down this little hole? <laughs> Where? What is down here? Hello? Oh, I get it. This is a neat little secret. Huh. Interesting. Well, where are we on time? Um. Yeah, you know what? I could do what's in here, but I don't know if it really gets me anything. Yeah, okay, I just double checked it's just an orange ruby. I'm not gonna worry about that. Not yet, at least. In any case. Let's go ahead and head out, and then we'll end the episode. Uh oh, I'm not wearing the boots. I'm not wearing the boots. Wait a minute, what? I mean, thanks. That's much appreciated. Um, I did not expect that. Blah 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 blah. All right. There's one thing we're going to do really quick before ending the episode. Next time I'll try to make it a bit shorter, because I, I wanted to make it a bit shorter at first, but obviously, yeah, you know, that's not really working for this episode. Next time we can do it that way, though. So, literally, all we need to do is just one heart piece, which is... I, I think it's a heart piece. Hold on, I want to double check. Okay. Yep, I wanted to make sure... This is an interesting harpies that I've never gotten before, by the way. This last one we're going to do. This is... Intriguing, to say the least. Let's go. Can it be daytime instead? It's too spoopy at night. Very spoopy right now.
trying to make sure I'm doing this right. Sorry if I can say. But Jello, Jello, are you there anymore? Uh oh. Yep. That's. Yeah, you ain't getting away from me. Boom, boom, boom. Look at his smug little face. Oh, the gel is telling me to stop following it smug. It's calling it cute and fluffy. That is not fluff. Okay, my jello brain says otherwise. Alright, again, I guess it's a fluffy, fluffy little piggy. You shut your trap, you stupid. Don't you dare. It'll go away, right? The thumpity dumpity of this is just wow. This is gonna take a while. Jello Brain, why did you make me do this? Stupid pig, stop it. This is interesting. Wait, I wanna make sure. Do I have bait? Damn it! How did I not notice this before? Where's Beetle's ship? Alright, so I'll bring... <sighs> I needed bait. I'll be right back with some bait in just a sec. Okay, now we got all purpose bait. We're just gonna thump here. Come here, boy. Come here, buddy. Get the bait, dang it. Okay, then, well, I got this. All right. Okay, well, that was interesting. But with that done, I actually am going to leave this video here. Um, I believe next up, we'll actually be heading towards the Earth Temple. I think. Either that or the Wind One, I don't know. We got a bunch to do coming in. In any case, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't say it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a Zelda game that you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any others I've done prior to this game? I'll have a link to one across my head here. This game, however, will be in the top right hand corner over there. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!